We are now on Module 5. Module 5 is all about the concept of traffic engineering studies. However, before we start with our discussion, let us try to identify our intended learning outcomes. So at the end of this module, the students are expected to explain the importance of spot studies, discuss the traffic volume studies, explain the importance of travel time and delay studies, and identify the different types of parking facilities. Okay, to start with, we have to take note that the presence of highway transportation uh, provided uh, several advantages that is, of course, a contributory factor to the high standard of living of every individual. However, we cannot do away that there will be problems that is related to the highway mode of the highway mode of transportation uh, as it exists. So what are these problems? So basically it may include highway related crashes, you have the parking difficulties, congestions and delay. So those are some of the common problems that may encounter in in highway. So how are we going to reduce this one? How are we going to reduce the impact of highways? Uh, it is so, so that we can reduce uh, the negative impact of highways. So it is very important for us to collect information that describes the existence, the extent of the problems and identifies uh, their locations. So usually uh, the collection such informations that is very which is important is somehow collected by organizing and conducting traffic surveys and studies and for the traffic studies it can be grouped actually into three main categories so what are those categories so number one we have the inventories number two we have administrative studies and number three we have dynamic studies when we'll speak about inventories studies meaning to say we provide a list or graphic this graphic display of the existing information so what is this graphic display of existing information so for example that includes the street width the parking spaces the transit route uh, the traffic regulations and so on so some inventories actually for example we have here available parking spaces and traffic key regulations. So the change frequently and therefore uh, require periodic updating uh, others such as uh, street with do not. So which means that for our inventories, uh, as we mentioned, we have here the uh, an example which is a parking spaces. So this parking spaces actually and traffic regulations that we're going to collect uh, information so it varies from time to time so which means there is a frequent change of the information of the existing information from time to time so it is very important to have a periodic update so we have to have a periodic update of the existing informations when it comes to parking spaces and traffic regulations information so however uh, inventory such as the street width so it does not uh, need to have an update, uh, frequent or periodic update. So it, the information, the existing information actually doesn't vary from time to time. So unlike for parking spaces, uh, traffic regulations, is var it varies from time to time. So it, there is a need for us to have an update of the existing information. However, for our street width, so it, it does not vary from time to time. So there is no need for us to have a, a periodic update or a frequent update of the existing information. Then the second one, we have our administrative studies. So actually administrative studies, uh, it make use of the existing engineering records such as available in the government agencies and departments. This information actually is being used for the preparation or to prepare an inventory of the relevant data. So inventories therefore may be recorded in files but are usually recorded in automated data processing or what we call ADP system. So administrative studies include actually the results of surveys which may involve measurements or aerial photography. So for ad our administrative studies, so it uh, this 
uh, results uh, includes now through the results here actually is done through survey. So survey which involves which involve field measurement or aerial photography so that we could have an information for that uh, for uh, we can have an information on that particular uh, uh, data that we want to gather. So which means actually this information administrative studies actually uh, this is uh, existing records. We use of existing records, whether it may be available in the government agency or in a certain uh, department. Then the third one is dynamic traffic studies. So actually, when we talk about dynamic traffic studies, involve the collection of data under operational conditions and include studies of speed, traffic volume, travel del travel time and delay parking and crashes so for our for our dynamic traffic study so which means that we try to gather data which is under operational conditions so under operational conditions that involves now traffic volume the traffic travel time the traffic delay as well as the speed of the vehicle so this dynamic studies actually are carried out by the traffic engineer to evaluate current conditions and develop solutions that are that they describe for that particular uh, situation so which means for our traffic dynamic traffic studies this is now being uh, done this is being evaluated by our traffic engineer so they try the traffic engineer try to evaluate the current condition and whatever is the current conditions if uh, the current conditions or the existing problems and basically this traffic engineers try to um, rec uh, try to present try to present a solution to that existing condition or problems so Basically, this is what we call dynamic studies because this now involves the, the operational condition, operational conditions, which means we are trying to have the, uh, the, the record or the conditions when it comes to travel time, travel delay, you have your traffic volume. So uh, based on the existing conditions that is being evaluated by our traffic engineer, they try to... Uh, <coughs> present they try to recommend a certain to solution to that existing condition or uh, problems now we move on to spot speed studies so actually the spot speed studies uh, are conducted to estimate the distribution of speed of vehicles in a stream of traffic at a particular location on a highway so when talk about speed of a vehicle this is actually defined as the rate of movement of the vehicle it is actually expressed in miles per hour or it can be also be expressed in kilometers per hour a spot speed study is carried out by recording the speed of the sample of vehicles at specified locations so speed characteristic identified by such a study will be valid only for the traffic and environmental conditions that exist at the time of the study so which means that for our spot speed study so this is actually conducted by recording the speed of the uh, sample vehicle a certain number of vehicles being used for the spot speed study and they choose a specific location so which means you record the speed of the vehicle chosen vehicle to be the sample size at a certain specific specified location on the highway and this speed characteristic is only valid for the traffic and environmental condition that exists at the time of the study so speed characteristic determined from a spot speed study can be used too so this means that the speed characteristic that was identified or determined through the spot speed study of that particular specified point at a specific uh, identified time it can be used to establish parameters for traffic operation and control such as speed zone speed limit and to evaluate the effectiveness of traffic control devices such as variable message signs at work zone 
than to monitor the effect of speed reinforcement programs such as the use of drone radar and the use of differential speed limits for passenger cars and trucks Num and to evaluate and to determine the adequacy of highway geometric characteristic such as radii or horizontal curve and length of vertical curve then to evaluate the effect of speed on highway safety through the analysis of crash data for different speed characteristic and to determine speed trend and lastly to determine whether complaints about speeding are valid so basically these are the main use of the uh, spot speed study the result actually the speed characteristic is being used locations for spot speed study so what are the locations that is used for different applications for the spot speed study so basically one we have the basic data the, for basic data collection we have here to identify a location that represent different traffic conditions on a highway or highways then for speed trend analysis we have the mid block or urban highways and mid blocks or urban highways and straight level section of rural highways then for specific traffic engineering problem any location can be used for the solution when the spot speed studies are being conducted it is very important that we unbiased data may be obtained so which means that this requires the driver to be unaware that such a study is being conducted so equipment use therefore should be concealed from the driver and observer conducting the study should be inconspicuous so which means that uh, when you try to conduct the spot speed study it you have to gather data the result should be unbiased so it should not be biased so which means that the drivers that is uh, within the specific location wherein you're going to conduct your spot speed study they are unaware that there is a study being conducted and basically so equipments therefore should be concealed from the driver it should not be seen it should not be visible to them so that uh, they will not be, uh, there will be uh, they will be unaware and the driver will be unaware and basically the result will be uh, unbiased so it is to have a to have a reliable uh, somehow a reliable data result from the conduct from conducting the spot speed studies time of day and duration of spot speed study so what will be the recommended time of the day and specific duration for spot speed studies so which means for this one there is no recommended um, specific there is no uh, standard time of the day uh, for the spot speed study however for for the duration at least it will be an hour and the sample size of the conduct of conducting the spot speed study must be at least there will be 30 vehicles so that sample size must be 30 vehicles and the duration of the uh, spot speed study should be an hour however for the time of the day for conducting spot speed study it will depend on the purpose of the study so which means if the purpose of the study is to establish posted limit to observe trends or to collect basic data so it is recommended that the study be conducted when the traffic is free flowing so usually that is during peak hours however if the when a speed study is conducted in response to a citizen complaints it is very useful if the time period selected for the study reflects the nature of the complaints so which means that uh, the time of the day the specific there's no specific time of the day uh, when to conduct the spot speed study it is dependent on the purpose of conducting the spot speed study so which means that uh, if that is basically a complaint coming from a citizen so which means that you have to conduct the uh, the spot speed study uh, during the time period selected for the study wherein it reflects the nature of the complaint if you're going to uh, establish a speed limit you wanted to observe the 
this speed trend or you wanted to collect basic data so it's important it is recommended to conduct the spot speed study when the traffic is free flowing so off peak hours